tonight on Access TV. Live live with Gotham Comedy Live. Get ready to laugh. Hey, did I miss it? I said hi. Oh, shit. I meant hey. With Amir K, Brian Hayner, Nori Davis, Jamie Lee, and your host, Maz Jabrani. Uh, we'll be doing stand up. Um, so, this is how you do stand up. Stand up. Would you stand up? From the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City, live, all happening right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Maz Jabrani. Stay tuned for more. Hey, 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 what's up? Hey, uh, woo, woo, woo. Hello, 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 hi, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, namaste, how are you? Hello. This is cool, man. Welcome to uh, Axis uh, TV. This is Gotham Live, comedy live, live. Anything can happen live. Anything live? Anything? Nothing? Anything? Nothing? Anything? Anything? Nothing? Nothing? Anything? How are you guys? What's up? That is cool hair. Look at you, beautiful. Ah, I'm bald. I'm jealous, man. That's I I I I, you, I hate it when girls with you, you. Sometimes girls do like that with you, and I got nothing. So I just open this up, <laughs> and I just go. I got some right here, baby. What's up? How are you? I am Maz Jobrani. Maz Jobrani. That's right. Yes. Thank you. Some of you are thinking Maz Jobrani. What kind of name is that? It's an Iranian name. Cousins, thank you for coming. My cousin's in the back, thank you. <laughs> Rest your leg, whatever, bro, that's your problem. Deal with it. All right, thank you, people, thank you. Uh, I'm, uh, I was born in Iran, grown up in America, and, uh, and uh, I'll tell you, man, I was, uh, I was in Boston a week before that whole thing went down in Boston, and, and my heart went out to them when the thing happened in Boston. Uh, and uh, that was my first thought, was my heart went out to them. And then my second thought, as a Middle Easterner, was please don't be Middle Eastern, please don't be Middle Eastern. And the news came out, they, were, they said they're Chechnya, and I was like, yes! <laughs> But then the next day they came out and said, but they were Muslim. I was like, shit! I was like, well, just once couldn't it be another religion? Just once couldn't it be a Buddhist? Just once. But I thought it will never be a Buddhist, right? Because a Buddhist will live in the moment, right? A Buddhist will be like, I was going to blow myself up, but that moment is gone. I am in another moment right now. Where, are there Middle Easterners here? Where's my Arabs at? Arabs. One Arab, one Arab, thank you for coming. What, what, what kind of Arab are you? Egyptian, Habibti, yalla, yalla, shawarma, shawarma. Uh, that's all I know. Did you hear about this the day after the whole Boston thing? There was two Arab dudes that got on an airplane and they were trying to get on, they were leaving the day after the Boston thing and uh, they were walking on the plane and they were speaking Arabic together from Rosa Park. They were like, and the passengers heard them and kicked them off the plane. Yeah, it, but I understood for once that that shit should have gone down because if the day after and you're walking with your Arab friend and I'd be like, dude, just go sit and text me. <laughs> like, You've been reading the news, man. Don't <laughs> go sit and text me, man. And I tell my Arab friends anyway, if you're ever on an airplane and you're speaking Arabic, you have to throw in random good words to put people at ease. All right. <laughs> It's true, if you're Arab, you're walking out, hal machalala machalala machalala, strawberry. Hal machalala machalala, rainbow. Hal machalala, tutti frutti. Oh my God. What else, who else do we have here tonight? What other ethnicities do we have? What, what, are, you, what are you, ma'am? Dominican, oh, hola. Como estas? Todo bien? Todo bien. That's all I know, todo bien? Todo bien. That's all I know, and I do it with a good accent, so it gets me in trouble. That's the problem, is I do it with a good accent. If you know any language and just a few words, don't do it with a good accent. Because if todo bien means is everything good, and she said everything's good, but if things were not good, and she went, atacata, patacata, 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 I'd be like, uh, burrito? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Have you ever done the, do you, 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 habla, you, you speak it fluently? Have you ever done the uh, uh, oprima numero dos en ese momento? You know what I'm talking about? You know when you call Verizon, and they go, you want to try this shit in Spanish? Press number two. You know what I'm talking about? Have you ever done that? No. You haven't. Yeah, it's risky, isn't it? <laughs> what if you get, what if you, you, you can't do it. You're too white to do that shit. You're, you can't, I can't, I speak, uh, I, like, what if you press and you heard some shit you're not supposed to hear? Like, what if you press it and then, you know, you pray, you go, the, the, the revolution goes down tomorrow at midnight. You're like, shit. <laughs> I pray there. Oh, my God. What's, what's your name, uh, white dude? 
Ryan, that's a nice white name. <laughs> the airport's easy for you, huh? <laughs> you son of a bitch. What's your last name, Ryan? Wood. Ryan Wood. <laughs> Shit. Are you a porn star? What's your deal? <laughs> Ryan Wood. He's sitting there all cocky. I'm Ryan Wood. How you doing? <laughs> want the real name or you want my porn name? <laughs> Ryan Hardwood. That's right. Hey, hey. Is that his middle name, Hardwood? <laughs> Hardwood is your business name? Are you serious? You actually named your business Hardwood? Do you put in floors or are you a, you a general contractor? That's what you call it, huh? <laughs> this guy, hey, I'm Ryan Hardwood, general contractor. How you doing? How you doing? Don't worry, I got a hammer. I got a hammer right here. I'll knock it. What's that? Nail it, pound it, screw it. Nail it, pound it, screw it? What the hell's your problem, dude? <laughs> this dude's doing a commercial. <laughs> Access TV, this was not a porn, but now it is. And this is your girlfriend. What's, what's your name? Kim. What's it, Kim Wood? Is that your? No, what's your last name? Kim what? Milas. Like, like a lot of Milas, mileage, nothing. You don't have a car rental or something? Milas, smilas, nail it, hard it, bang it, nothing. <laughs> you guys, that is a cool, that's a, you're a bad motherfucker. <laughs> oh my God. I, uh, I'm, uh, like I said, Mazubrani, Middle Eastern, and uh, I just want to thank you guys all really uh, for coming out tonight because uh, I have two young kids at home, and uh, you guys gave me an excuse to get away from them. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Anyone here got young kids? Anyone got young kids? Anyone? Yeah, you do? How old are your kids? Four and three. All right, yeah, you were quick. You just back to back, huh? You, where's your wife? At home. Look at you, manly man. <laughs> what's, what's your background? What's your background? Dominican. Dominican. Shit, it's very macho, huh? Lady, you stay home tonight. I'm going to go. Todo bien. <laughs> you stay home, woman. You breastfeed. Yeah, hey, hey, where'd it go? How do you say breastfeed in Spanish? You don't speak it. You don't know prima numero dos en ese momento? Fido, bresto, you know, nothing? Do you know how to say breastfeed? How do you say it? Tetas, tetas, lunch. <laughs> burrito de tetas. <laughs> Esta burrito de tetas. You want burrito de tetas? You don't know? Leche, leche de tetas. Is that what it is? It's got to be leche de tetas, isn't it? Anyone? Anyone speaking? Anyone speak Spanish? It's not le You know, what is it? How do you say it? What is it? Dar de la crard. Dar de la crard? That shit rhymes. Dar de la crard? It's not leche, because leche I thought was milk. See, that's why I can't. No prima numero dos en este momento. That shit, I get lost. I have young kids. You back me up on this. When you have young kids at home, you love them, but they're the most exhausting people in the world. When you have young kids at home, your whole goal from the moment they wake up, your whole goal is to make them tired. <laughs> from the moment they wake up, you're like, run, run, run. <laughs> climb, climb. Fly. You can fly. Try flying. <laughs> Flap your wings. And no matter what you do, when it comes time to sleep, kids don't want to sleep. Craziest thing in the world, yeah. And there's a thing called sleep training, which is when they turn six months old, you're supposed to let them cry it out in the crib. They learn to sleep, life goes on. Now, I'm originally from Iran, my wife originally from India. So we come from immigrant backgrounds. Immigrants don't sleep train. I don't care if you're Iranian, Indian, Dominican, we don't, immigrants, we're all in the bed together. I'm in the bed, my wife's in the bed, the baby's in the bed, my mother-in-law's in the bed. <laughs> there's a rooster in the bed. My cousins are under the bed. <laughs> It's crazy, man. And my wife is Indian. My, are there any Indians here? Any Indians? Indians? There we go. Yeah, a billion in the world and four showed up. Thank you very much, really. <laughs> no, it's crazy, man. My wife, I swear, it's crazy because my wife is Indian. Both of our kids look like her. I told her, I said, there's a reason why there's a billion Indians in the world. Your guys' genes are so dominant. Anyone sees with an Indian, the kids are coming out Indian. <laughs> oh, yeah, Iranian, Indian, Indian. Black, Indian, Indian. Friend of mine, wife's not even Indian. She had Indian food one night. The kids came out Indian. <laughs> I swear to God, man. And our house is confusing. I'm Iranian, my wife is Indian, our nanny is Guatemalan. The kids are confused. They don't know who is who or what is what. Like, they spend more time with the nanny than they do, than they do with us. Yeah, like, I, they speak better Spanish than English. I swear, like, my little two-year-old, anytime she hears sirens going by, she goes, policia, policia. <laughs> I asked the nanny, go, you guys running from the cops all day in the park? <laughs> She's like, me no, senor, but nina all the time. Drug dealer, nina's a drug dealer. <laughs> I think that they think the nanny's their mother, me and my wife are the nannies. Like every night when she's leaving, the four-year-old's like, adios, mama. We'll see you later, man. We're gonna hang out with the two losers again. 
And stay away from the policia. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm Maz Brani. That's my time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stay tuned for more laughs on Access TV. Live from the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City. Lori Davis is taking the stage when we return. Welcome back to the Access TV presentation of Gotham Comedy Live. More laughs happening right now. All right, all right. Give it up for your next comedian coming up right now. You can find him on Twitter at Nori Davis. Give it up for the very funny Nori Davis. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out, man. Happy to be here. I'm not from here, though, not from the city. I'm from Yonkers, New York. Y.O. Yeah. <laughs> it's right outside the Bronx, but people in the city, they think that's Canada. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Everybody's like, yo, Nori, that must be like, 95 stops off the six train. <laughs> I'm like, you're wrong. You cannot take a train there. <laughs> you need a vehicle. <laughs> and I read up on my town. They petitioned to become one of the boroughs in New York City. <laughs> Silly Yonkers. <laughs> can't be a borough because you can't walk there. <laughs> I tried. I used that little man in Google Maps. That nigga gave me days. <laughs> Nonchalant, too. He's like, oh, you want to walk to Yonkers? No problem. <laughs> Three days and 50 minutes. <laughs> Straight. He's like, go ahead, Forrest Gump. You got it. <laughs> Grow a beard, get a slogan. You be all right. Google Maps does not care about your feet. <laughs> they give you walking directions. And here's my problem, they're not detailed enough. You gotta let people know, is this a good neighborhood? <laughs> when do I start running? <laughs> like, when do I take off my red bandana and pull on a blue one? <laughs> I look young, where are the pedophiles? <laughs> I've been walking for a day and a half, I'll take candy from anybody. <laughs> but like, yo, man, that's not a Snickers. <laughs> I'm not sucking that. <laughs> no. I got two more days of walking, I can't believe you brought me in here for this shit. Walking direction, they got you walking. And here's the kicker, they want you to walk, they show you the whole route, they highlight in yellow, and on top it says tolls and route. <laughs> tolls, I'm walking, who's charging me? <laughs> I don't have easy pass for my feet. <laughs> you know what I think it is? I think it's trolls. <laughs> I don't know how they got in there, but it's fucking trolls. <laughs> You're walking and somebody pops out, hey man, you gotta answer a question. <laughs> Yo, I've been walking for a day and a half. I ain't got no time for this. Well, you cross my bridge? <laughs> you gotta answer this riddle. What's big, red, and eats rocks? A big red rock eater. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that the answer? I'm just happy you're here. <laughs> Nobody visits me. Would you like a Snickers? <laughs> no. I'm not falling for that shit twice. <laughs> so I'm in Yonkers, New York, suburban area, nice. You know, I'm with my father, nice area. My cousin came over, he was like, yo, this is nice, man. But don't forget where you came from. <laughs> you from the hood. You was born in the hood. He's right. But I don't like that expression, born in the hood. It sounds like my mother never made it to the hospital. <laughs> like that poor lady had me right there in the corner. 
He's like, ah, ah, it's coming. And the drug dealer was like, yo, you about to have a baby? Yo, she having a baby. I don't know. <laughs> Another day in the hood, man. Another day in the hood. I can't call it. Oh, I'm sorry, all this weed smoke by your baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I used to play all the time in the hood, man. Play basketball all day, all night. And I couldn't do it. I had to come out to my boys. Like, yo, I can't play no more games, man. I got sickle cell anemia. I can't do this. And he was like, oh, you got AIDS? I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not what that is. He said, ah, well, Magic Johnson did it. No, shut up. That's <laughs> Sounds <laughs> super ignorant. That's not what that is. So I'd explain to them what sickle cell anemia is, and if you don't, so now you know. Sickle cell anemia, basically my cells are shaped like a circle, like a banana. <laughs> and regular cells are like an orange, like a circle, normal. And when there's not enough oxygen in the bloodstream, <laughs> it disappears. So basically my blood's fruit ninja. <laughs> it's basically fruit ninja. So when I play a hard activity, my body's like, oh shit, high score. <laughs> Uh, stop it. No, three bananas, nigga. <laughs> Taking all my fruit. I need to keep my fruit. So I get sick a lot. I got to be careful. I'm always in and out the hospital. And one thing I don't wish upon anybody, I went to the hospital without no insurance. Yeesh. That was the worst. Because I got sick on the road. I was like seven hours away. And I was in there, the doctor's like, hey, you need this test. We should run this test. You also need this test. I was like, yeah, give me all this shit. I want to live. <laughs> all of it. Yeah. Give me all of it, right? But I hurt myself in the long run doing that. A month later, I got my bill. My bill was $32,000. 32,000, they sent that to me in a nice envelope. Like I was supposed to take my checkbook out and go, who do I make this out to? <laughs> What's the doctor's name? I want to send him a tip. $32,000, why didn't they stop me at $500? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hospitals should ask for your budget. <laughs> hey man, I see your arms falling off, but how much you got? Hey, man, real talk, when I get to 600, kick me out. <laughs> I'ma handle the rest at Walgreens. <laughs> Give me this whole aisle. <laughs> I didn't realize that when I was at those tests, he was presented to me, I just said, yes, yes, yes. I didn't know, I was balling out of control. <laughs> like I was a rapper. <laughs> Like my bed was made of a belly, nurses had booty shorts. I was like, yeah, antibiotics for all my niggas. <laughs> yeah. Wheelchairs for everybody. <laughs> we never creasing our sneakers, man. I'm wearing a Snuggie. <laughs> with my favorite logo team in the front. I'm walking down the hallway talking to women. Hey girl, how you doing? You feeling all right? Let me tell you something. Yo, chemo's on me. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gotta pay for that. Charge it to my room, 257. I'm a gold member here. <laughs> yeah. You better ask about me. This my floor. Yeah. I'm kinda big here. Mm -hmm. You want some juice? You want some juice? Apple? No, pineapple. Nurse! It's coming. It's coming. You guys are great, man. I'm on Twitter, Nori Davis. God bless you. Good night, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stay Gia, tuned Gia, for Gia. more laughs on Thank Access you. TV. Thank you. Live from the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City, Jamie Lee is taking the stage when we return.
All right, want to bring the next comedian to the stage right now. You've seen her on Conan as well as MTV Girl Code. She's on Twitter at the Jamie Lee. Give it up for the very funny Jamie Lee. How are you all? All right. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry if I seem kind of out of it, you guys. Uh, all I had for dinner was one of those meal replacement drinks, uh, vodka. And uh, I, I, I don't really mean to judge you guys. I don't drink a lot. Uh, I only drink when it's a special occasion, you know, like when it's someone's birthday on Facebook. But. Uh, <laughs> I keep it super classy. No, like, I'm a huge lightweight. I swear, like, if I have one drink, I just immediately do something klutzy, like stub my toe, the camel one. And I'm um, just like, ah, 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 you know? Ah. Thanks. It's a fun visual for everyone. Um, no, I uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't drink a lot. Uh, I think the reason I don't really enjoy going out drinking more is because I feel like every group of girlfriends always has that like one friend who is just like the worst. Like she just ends up hitting on everyone. I totally have that friend. She's awful. We'll go out and she'll just be like, oh my God, who is that? We're like, that's a mounted moose head on the wall, babe. <laughs> She just keeps going. She's like, he is so effing furry. Like, he's clearly staring right at me. He is all up in this. I'm like, he has plastic eyes. You've been roofied. Um, she's like, you're just jealous because roofies are for pretty people. And my boyfriend is the mascot of Canada. Canada, Montana, Hannah, Montana. Fuck you. Um, it's fun. She's a delight. And then she ends up getting like furious at the end of the night, you know, just out of nowhere. She just starts talking like Mariah Carey in the booth at you. She's like, you're, you're a fucking, like, you guys, like, I don't even, ah, ah, ah. you're like, ah, what just happened? That was amazing. Oh my God. I feel like every time I go to a bar, there's always like that guy who's like really overconfident, you know? He's like 70 years old and has like a cascading gray sex commune ponytail, you know, and like a bolo tie and a lazy eye. And he'll be like, oh, hey, little lady, what's your sign? You're like, yield. And, um,. <laughs> That's fine. He's like, oh, I'm a cancer. I'm like, I know. <laughs> like, you're a fucking social melanoma. Like, I can't deal with you, sir. I'm just too literal for pickup lines. Like, one time this guy was like, damn girl, how you get all that ass into them pants? I was like, a shoehorn, and I ran away. <laughs> like, I don't want to discuss it. Um, pretty annoying. I did the ultimate drinking experience this year. I went to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. A lot of guys stumbling around like, oh, kiss me, I'm Irish. I'm like, don't touch me, I'm Jewish. And uh, <laughs> it's fun. It was a really fun exchange. I dated an alcoholic for a while. Uh, actually, I had some good moments. You know, we'd go out drinking. Things would, you know, we'd go back to his place. Things would get kind of like sexy in the bedroom. We'd start shouting those like sexy questions at each other. He'd be like, who's your daddy? And I'd be like, where's your erection? <laughs> And, uh, oh God, I mean, please, <laughs> dreamboat alert. Um, solid good fun, well, semi-solid. But uh, it's okay, it's okay. I am, uh, I am Jewish, I'm half Jewish, which I guess just means I have like a conflicted outlook on life, you know, like I see the glass like half smashed or whatever. And if it's half smashed, it's marked down. No, I... Uh, <laughs> I know, I hate that stereotype. Oh, Jews are so cheap, they love a good sale. It's like, take it easy, okay? All the clothes I'm wearing right now, I bought full price, thank you, so get a good look before I return them all. <laughs> um, to TJ Maxx. <laughs> no, I don't shop at that shithole. I go to Marshalls, it's even cheaper. Um, please, where are my Marshalls people at? Weirdest crowd work ever. <laughs> where are my Marshalls girls, TJ Maxx? Um, 
No, I, I uh, yeah, Jewish stereotypes are so annoying. I hate, I hate, like a lot of people think that that Jews that we come from money. Uh, I don't come from money unless I sit on an upright roll of quarters, and then it's ah, you know. Ah, that was my laundry money, you know. Still is. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, what a wild ride. What a wild ride. No, I, uh, I lo oh God, I love Jewish guys. You know, Jewish guys, they're all about the chase, you know, the bank, and uh, <laughs> I love that. No, I'm a good girl, I'm, I'm in a relationship. My boyfriend, he actually, uh, he actually just popped the question, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> so, oh, delight, no. We did move in together, that is true. We moved in together recently, and uh, I've been thinking a lot about like getting engaged, which is this whole new phenomenon. Like, you know, I think about like getting a diamond on my finger, and I feel guilty about that, because the whole blood diamond thing, you know? Like, I didn't even know what a blood diamond was until recently. I thought it just meant it's like so sparkly, it just like induces your period, you know? Like, I didn't, <laughs> I thought it was just like, huh, huh! Um, a little diff, you guys, a little diff. <laughs> it's like, what's Africa, you know? Um, it's fun, it's fun. Oh, that got you? Come on. Um, I'm like, please, we're better than that. Um, no, I, I do. I, you know, I came up with a theory, though. I think you need a diamond on your finger. I think you need something sparkly just to, like, stare at and focus on, you know? Because I think marriage is a lot like being on magic mushrooms. <laughs> Just like 99% of the time, you're like, oh, oh, I hate this, what's happening? And then you're like, oh, prism. And it just, oh. <laughs> just makes you feel so much better. I, I sound very cynical, I, I do wanna get married, but I'm afraid of marriage because I'm afraid of divorce, you know? It's like, what if we never get one? You know, it's like, <coughs> kill me, <laughs> so long. <sighs> And I want to have kids, I do, I want to have kids, uh, but I'm afraid of having kids because like, you know, I'm afraid I'll like mess them up like emotionally or with a bat, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, pregnancy really scares me. Like I read the most insane story. I read that there was this pregnant woman in Ohio who suddenly went into labor in her living room and the only person who was home to like assist the birth was her eight year old son. That's insane. When the boy was questioned about the experience, fun fact, he actually stopped puking long enough to scream, this is my Vietnam, and <laughs> run out the front door forever. So then I'll make you want to have a baby. But no, I'm glad that I moved in with my boyfriend. It's so much better. I hated living with my roommate, you guys. She was so annoying. She was so passive aggressive. You know, she would always like leave me notes to tell me things. It's like, just say it to my face that you're committing suicide. You know, it's like. <laughs> I can't, you know, so irritating. Stop it with the post-its, Kel. Uh, thanks, it's okay to laugh. She's actually like, she, don't worry, she's like the most confident person I know. She always refers to her breasts as the twins, which is hilarious, because I've seen the twins, you guys, and they're fraternal. <laughs> um, I'm like, I don't know if the left one's from the same father, you know? She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, the left one's black. And um, <laughs> that's good. She, she is a very confident person. She, uh, she's a very sexual person. I'm really, I know I make a lot of jokes. I'm not, I'm really not one of those like rah, aggressive people. Like I'm actually conservative. I don't talk at all during sex. Cause my mom always said, you know, like never talk to strangers. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys have been super fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm at the Jamie Lee on Twitter. Thank you. Stay tuned for more laughs on Access TV. Thanks, Live guys. from the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City. Amir K is taking the stage when we return. Welcome back to the Access TV presentation of Gotham Comedy Live. More laughs happening right now. All right, all right, we're back. We're back. I gotta tell you something, guys. I'm excited again to be here because when you have young kids at home, man, your time is not your own time, right? When you got young kids at home, you take care of your to-do list while the kids are sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you got young kids at home, you're like a Navy SEAL, right? Like, like the other day, the kids were napping. I went to my wife, I go, hey, let's have some sex. She goes, I'm not in the mood. I go, I'm not in the mood either. <laughs> but the enemy's sleeping, let's go. Move it, move it, move it. 
this robe, this mount, I got to kill Bin Laden. Let's do this. That's what we call sex in my house, killing Bin Laden. That's what we call it. Sometimes we go weeks without killing Bin Laden in my house, if you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I got to make Bin Laden commit suicide, if you know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on. You know what I'm talking about. All right, guys. I'm going to bring up our next comedian right now. This next guy, very funny guy. He's uh, on, uh, on Twitter, at Amir Comedy. Give it up for the very funny Mr. Amir K. <laughs> What's up, Gotham Comedy Live, man? We're live. That was my opener, guys. That was my opener we're on TV. Dude, you guys, you guys don't even understand how good it is to be here and see some diversity in the crowd. I'm not kidding you. I tour with Maz, man. We do show, I'm Middle Eastern, he's Middle Eastern. We do shows all Middle Eastern. Last night we did a show, 350 Middle Eastern people, one fucking eyebrow. All the, I was like, how is it connected all the way? But it was cool, because like if one person laughed, they all had to laugh. It was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. It just went down the line all the way. So this is awesome to see a mix of different faces and different, look at the Asians who are waiting to take a test. They've been here the whole time. They got a, they got a fucking Scantron and a number two over here. What is going on? How you guys doing over here? You guys good over? Look how good looking this group is. Just a bunch of good looking people. Everyone tightened up. I came out too heavy, huh? Came out too much energy? Should I slow it down? Everyone's like this. I'm on TV, everyone's just staring at me. Look at this guy's been watching me like he's watching Avatar with those glasses. <laughs> they look 3D, they look 3D. I don't know guys, I'm trying to have fun. I don't know about you guys. I'm trying to have a good time. I'm trying to have fun. <laughs> I am Middle Eastern, I'm Iranian. Um, that's kind of cool. 9-11 fucked it up for me, big time. Like huge, I can't, like I try to do this, I thought it would be sexy, this little beard, nope. Ne never got a girl's number, I just started getting initiation emails from Al Qaeda. <laughs> You're laughing, I opened an email two days ago. The subject line on the email, you look ready. <laughs> How the fuck did they get the accent across? <laughs> and I should have known, the sender on the email, Muhammad Ali Reza Jaziri Jazed at gmail.bom. I didn't know that was a... <laughs> It's so stupid. That's a dumb joke. I'm glad you guys laughed at that. I know it's dumb because I did it the other night. It was a packed house, same exact joke. Not one person laughed. Not one. And there was two gay dudes sitting in the corner. Total coincidence, guys. Uh, I did the joke. <laughs> Nobody laughed. One gay dude turned to his boy. I'm not kidding. He was like, I knew he was the terrorist. <laughs> and his buddy hit him. He's like, he's not a terrorist, Tony. <laughs> and then his buddy hit him back and goes, then why is he up there bombing? And then they high-fived. Then they high-fived. How am I doing, guys? This is, so, this is so stupid. These guys are mad. I call them gay. You're not gay. I can tell you guys got girls with you or it's a good cover. I don't fucking know. But this is good. I live in West Hollywood. It's like the gayest, gayest part of the world as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. Couple lesbians. Good shit, man. Keep it up. I, I'm, not, it's like, I'm not homophobic. I love gay people. It's like, it just really, gay. like my neighborhood is, it's like my sprinklers on my lawn. <laughs> Just do the whole lawn! <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. You guys like impressions? Maybe I'll do a quick impression and wake you guys up. Shit. How about that? Here's a quick impression. I've been working on this for 10 years. This is my impression of any fast food Mexican restaurant in the whole United States. Once again, this is any fast food Mexican restaurant in the whole United States. Here we go. <clears throat> Number 36, you already ready? I think I nailed it. I think I got it. Did I get it? There I got it. There I got it. There we go. There we go. That's kind of fun. You guys have, what do you guys have? Puerto Ricans, Dominicans? That's what we have here, right? I was in, we were just performing in, uh, what was it, uh, Miami. At least we could. There we go. We got a couple of Miami over here. Hey, hello, hey, hey, hey. That's how they talk, and you can't understand shit in Miami. You can't understand anything. Everyone, it's, 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 everyone's just like, oh yeah, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna see the sunshine? <laughs> right? It's, I swear, that's like the language. I couldn't, under, I could, and, and it's like, they just, then they say, oh yeah, oh yeah, before everything. Because everything that comes after, oh yeah, fucking impossible to understand. <laughs> oh yeah, you wanna, me? It took me an hour and a half to figure out what that means, do you wanna go to the beach? <laughs> Even the guy at the hotel, he's like, well, hey, what room you wanna be? They're all dancing for no reason. 
I don't know, man. You guys Indian? Right? Why the fuck aren't you at home studying for a spelling bee? <laughs> they, they, they're the best at spelling. You guys have won the spelling bees like 25, 30 years in a row. There's no other race that can win spelling bees. Indians are it. That's it. <laughs> Indians just win. You guys are so good at that. Like, there's never going to be an Iranian guy ever in the finals. There's no, it's, you'll never see, what was the word? Uh, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> that, um, that, that's a very hard one for me. Maybe if you give me something a little bit more sampler, uh, maybe some word like BMW. <laughs> No, thank you. That's, that's, we, can't, we can't do it. But Indians, they're so good, man. Have you seen it's like little, little eight-year-old kids win this shit every year? It's a little eight-year-old, and it's so high pressure. Like, the dad is always here with that shitty mustache, like, staring daggers into... You know the dad's like, you want to go back to Calcutta, motherfuckers? <laughs> like, just staring at the kid, right? And the kids are always so nervous because high pressure. It's kind of like this. Like, cameras are in the back. Lights are on them, right? And sometimes they even faint. If you've seen the... There's a thing of the poor kid. He's, like, in the final. He's like, B E U, And he just... <laughs> gets up and wins the whole shit. <laughs> so it's like a positive ending, but it's so nerve-wracking. And if you haven't seen it, this is how this shit goes down. Like the dad's here, judges in the back, camera's there. Kid comes out so nervous, just. Can I have the word, please? <laughs> Try Mephicophilophides. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Can I please have the language of origin for that? <laughs> it's Greek. It's Greek. It's Greek. Sometimes they have a Greek salad. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, sometimes they put a feta cheese, they put a feta cheese. <laughs> and then they put olives in the Greek salad, they put olives in it. Can I please hear this word used in a sentence? <laughs> Try me for coffee is my pronunciation right on the road? I don't know. I don't know what is it. I don't want to go to Calcutta. Can, can you please? Uh, would, would you please? Take me away from my family. I don't want to do this shit! I swear to God, you know that shit. You know for real. You're, you're fucking Indian, you know. I always think, but it never ends that way. They always win and they celebrate like a nerdy ass Indian, like. <laughs> you just won the fucking Super Bowl of spelling. Celebrate, you know what I mean? Like no other race will do. There's never, you'll never catch a Mexican, Latino, you'll never see that shit in the final day. What was the word, Doug? Trey <laughs> <laughs> nah, full step plane. <laughs> and that's fucked up, fuck you, man. That's not even a real word, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> nah, boo, why you stop it? I'm high, boo. <laughs> oh, I can I can you give me another word? <laughs> I gotta do that one. Okay, that. Um. Oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, you better watch your back, puto. <laughs> like right here, we're leaving a threat, right? And brother, you're, you're laughing right now, dude. There's never gonna be a black dude in the finals. I'm sorry, man. There will, you'll never. What the fuck was the word? <laughs> Try never got the lavity. What the fuck that is? Some sort of dinosaur or some shit? I never heard that word in my motherfucking No, fuck you, Raj, you stupid ass Indian motherfucker. You got all them easy words. Don't fuck with your dumb ass. Y'all need to go back to Calcutta. Let us win this motherfucker one time. Y'all don't play too much. No, I ain't. No, y'all gonna give me another word. I got my motherfucking mama in the house. Y'all gonna give me another motherfucking word, y'all. I ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Fuck y'all. The new word. Thank you. What the new word is? Barbiturate. Barbiturate. <laughs> Barbi <laughs> we 
<laughs> we gonna win this bitch. No, 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 y'all don't need to give me the definition. Y'all don't need to give me the language origin, none of that bullshit. As a matter of fact, I use it in a sense for y'all. How about that? Uh -huh. <laughs> bar bitch you with, simple as pie. It's like if I'm sitting at the bar and my friend call me on the phone, I go, yo, I'm at the bar, what bitch you with? Am I right? <laughs> Am I right, yo, I'm Amir K. Thank you guys so much, man. Have a good night, thank you. For more laughs on Access TV, live from the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City, Ryan Hayner is taking the stage when we return. Your next comic, you know him as Guitar Guy. Give it up for the very funny Brian Hader. New York City. Uh, any country music fans in the house tonight? Don't lie to me, New York. You hate that shit as much as I do. But I do love country lyrics because every song is about whoring and cheating and stealing and drinking, but they cover it up with the clever words so the whole family can listen. It's like, saw you at the baseball game, I couldn't believe my eyes. You and my best buddy were sitting side by side when you reached for his sack and pain inside my guts. Now your kisses taste just like my best friend's salty nuts. Salty nuts, salty nuts. You sucked them till you couldn't suck no more. Your cheeks were packed, nuts from his sack. It was like you never tasted nuts before. Yeehaw! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, tell you a little about myself. I've been married 20 years to the same wonderful woman. Thank you. Thank you. I have never cheated on my wife. Um, you know, thank you, with uh, any of her friends or family, people she might run into, because that's just common sense. <laughs> but I spend about 40 weeks a year on the road, and I realized early on that if I was going to remain happily married, I'd have to figure out a way to get a little something-something without ever touching another woman. I'd give her a 10. If I had to rate her When I saw her downtown mm, I wanted to date her When I finally got her home I couldn't wait to inflate her Bought her a wig And I named her Chantel She was the girl for me I could just tell Cause when I put my lips on her valve She even had that new car smell When she gets low and she's starting to slump She don't need Xanax, just a bicycle pump She never goes flat, always stays in great shape She don't need a plastic surgeon just a roll of duct tape She likes to play rough So sometimes I push her down Yes, I do But she bounces back up And makes the cutest little squeaky sound <laughs> One time I popped her And she just went round and round Took her on vacation, Lord, it was nice. Joined the Mile High Club with my flotation device. <laughs> Wearing my Ray-Bans and looking so cool. Sipping on a Mai Tai, floating on her in the pool. She never complains, cause she ain't a whiner. I've seen a lot of girls, they ain't nobody finer. She got a tattoo right by her coochie, says made in China. <laughs> 
When it comes to my world, man, she can rock it. And when we're done, she fits in my back pocket. Funny thing is, my wife loves her too. Cause it's one less thing that she has to do. Live in New York. This is awesome. Great crowd tonight. Great. A lot of young people here tonight. I'm not young anymore. I'm not. I, I'm not. I turned 40 recently. Uh, thank you. Yeah, 1998. And it's true. See the young girls looking at me like, that's disgusting. This old guy singing about sex with a blow up doll. I got news for you, kids. Sex doesn't stop when you get older, it, it gets gross, but it doesn't stop. I'm serious. You, when you're 40, you know, you shut down the lights a little bit. You dim them, maybe a couple candles. You turn 45, and you're like, honey, this isn't good for anybody. Let's just shut them off. It's just <laughs> do this by Braille. You're just done. <laughs> but somewhere around 50, you say, you know what? Screw this. You just own it. You turn the lights back on. You do her from behind so you can both watch The Iron Chef. <laughs> and I'm telling you. Trust me. There's nothing like the Food Network and a little rumpy pumpy to bring back the magic. So true. My wife is worried that I won't love her anymore now that she's getting old. And uh, fortunately for her, I've always had a thing for older women. And when I say older... <laughs> 4 p.m. at Baker Square Her eyes were blue as her bouffant hair I could not help but stare. She was ordering the early bird special. I looked into her eyes. Fantasies began to rise. Every other girl had been a compromise, but surely was something special. And we made love all night long over cats and doilies till the break of dawn. I knew from that day on I'd be with Shirley at the early bird special. I kissed her pale gray lips, climbed on, careful not to break her hips. She gummed my fingertips, cause her teeth were in a glass of water. The room was dark, cause she had class, but the clapper turned the lights on when I slapped her ass. I could hear her moaning, groaning through her oxygen mask, doggy style as she clung to her walker. And my touch drives her insane. She'd scream it out, except that she forgets my name. Bless the iron, poor blood in her varicose veins. Shirley is my early bird special. Slip under the covers as she slips into a coma. We're making love how I wish that she'd wake up. Please wake up. As we make our way across the crowded parking lot Side by side in her little motorized cart Me and Shirley at the early bird special And she loves to share my chub I've teabagged all the ladies in the quilting club With the saggy baggy titties floating in my hot tub I make Shirley and those girlies feel special Crazy, sexy, hunchback girl. I met Shirley at the Early Bird Special. Thank you, New York. Thank you so much.
Welcome back to the Access TV presentation of Gotham Comedy Live. More laughs happening right now. All right, we're back, we're back. What a fun show, you guys. We had fun, we, we had music, we had uh, jokes about ethnicities and all that. We laughed about it, and the beauty about making fun about ethnicities is we, we break stereotypes and making fun of them. You know what I'm saying, Indian man? You know what I'm saying, Indian man, right? And so it's a beautiful, but I also gotta tell everybody, please check yourselves from time to time, because we all stereotype from time to time, okay? Because I was guilty of stereotyping one time. I was in Dubai, I was doing a show, and there's a lot of Indians in Dubai, and a lot of them are day laborers. And they said this one guy was gonna come to pick me up at the show, at the hotel, I was staying at, okay? And I went down to the lobby, and there was this Indian guy, and I was like, he's got to be my driver, because I thought all Indians there must be day laborers. Of course, I'm so stupid, there's got to be successful Indians there as well, right? Because I was looking at this guy, he was staring at me, like, with a thin mustache, wearing kind of a cheap suit, staring at me. So I go over, I go, excuse me, sir, are you my driver? He goes, no, sir, I own the hotel. <laughs> I go, I'm sorry, then why were you staring at me? He goes, I thought you were my driver. <laughs> And that's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. Bring up all the comedians we saw tonight. Bring up all the comics one more time. Give it up for Nori Davis, Jamie Lee, Amir Kay, Brian Hayner, I'm Maz Thank you very much. Good night.